and on the 31st day of January, the news gods gave us a train crash involving Republican lawmakers, the unexpected retirement of a powerful House chairman, dropped federal corruption charges against a sitting Democratic senator, the resignation of a top federal health official amid reports she purchased tobacco stock, and an FBI statement expressing grave concerns with President Trump's expected decision to allow the release of a controversial classified memo slamming the agency. And that was just the first half of the day. The news maelstrom was also a fitting coda to the Capitol's whirlwind January, which never let you catch your breath. It began with the president taunting North Korean leader Kim Jong un that he had a bigger and more powerful nuclear button on his desk proceeded to waltz through rumors of a possible Oprah Winfrey 2020 presidential run, and ended with a State of the Union address Tuesday that by now many people have probably forgotten.